Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by Jerry Manuel from Osprey Village. Thank you. You're the executive director. Yes. It's so good to have you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Now, tell us about how you, tell us about Osprey Village, what it is and the population you serve, but also I'm curious as to what drew you to become the executive director. Well, Osprey Village is an intentional community that's going to allow for folks with developmental disabilities as they become adults and their parents need to look for a place for them to have a life uh, where they can live, work, and play and be part of a community which will be part of the whole East Argent development that's going out in Hardyville. It's so exciting. It I mean, this this really, for this population and with so many people coming and going from here, I really believe that Osprey Village can be the landing pad nationally for, for this population. The inquiries we're getting make it look that way, quite mm -hmm. frankly. And that's our hope, is that if we are successful, which we will be, which you will be. we will carry it forward into other communities, not only here in South Carolina, but yeah. in other states across the country. I mean, it, it's also one of those uh, needed resources in terms of information exchange. You know, you have a family who's over here and they need to learn how to do that. And coming on vacation here, this is one of those places that you can start to come for vacation with a special needs family member. Right. And you can see many families who are intending to come here to live when they retire if there's a place for their child to come with them. Exactly. Exactly. Now how did you come about this population? What drew you to it? Well, to your, I, your experience? I retired here <laughs> supposedly <laughs> uh, and got involved with Osprey as a volunteer because of my background. I spent 40 years working with people with disabilities in Ohio having been a f former state director for the state of Ohio. Uh, and working with folks all my life, uh, I wanted to carry that on to keep myself busy. Well, as I got involved with Osprey, and they were looking for directors. Of course, resources weren't all that significant at this point. They said, how about you doing this? So my wife and I talked, and I said, I'll give it the challenge it needs to get it up and running. Yeah. And then turn it over to someone younger that can deal with it in the long term. Yeah, but there's, you know, and, and the, the work that you all are doing, you're paving the way. I mean, this is just so exciting. Something I learned today from you that I didn't know is that there are two thrift stores. Yes. That you all have. One in Hilton Head and the other is in Okatee, right near our development out there. Uh, that started in 2011. That had been developed two years or so. Two and a half years ago, we opened the Main Street store where the old bowling alley is. The old bowling was. alley is. And it's starting to really grab on. Mm -hmm. Folks are knowing about us and it's picking up. What kind of donations can you can you bring there? Any kind that you have home uh, furnishings, clothes, knickknacks. Uh, we'll take cars, boats, anything Perfect. you have. Perfect. I had no so idea. That, oh, yeah. And, and so uh, the one in Okadee, where is that? Is that on 278? It's on 170. Oh, 170. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, on 170. 170 heading right. now towards. Buford going that way. Right before that first, um, the the intersection. The um, East Argent intersection. The East Argent intersection. Yeah, with a new Circle K's built. I've seen it yeah. a million times. Yeah. I had no idea it was Osprey yeah, Village. Yeah, it's a very nice store. Wonderful. New place to donate, folks. It's spring cleaning time. Yes. Perfect time to get this stuff out. And we also can pick Osprey up. Village. Oh, you can. And, and deliver if you buy things that are too large for you to take. Wonderful. Now, you all have um, a fundraiser that's coming up, and you also just released a video. So tell us, uh, tell okay, us about Okay, well, the things. video is very special to me because it really puts out to the community what Osprey is going to look like. Mm. And, and you get to hear from the folks that helped put us to this point together from John Reed, the developer, and then Harry Williams, the mayor of Hardyville, talking about us being part of their community, and some of our folks about where they want to live and how it's going to look. And then it gives some of the design of what it's going to look like. So you can find it on our website. Yeah. And if you need a, a personal one, all you have to do is call Channing uh, at Love Osprey. Love Channing. Hi, Channing. Our, our, Fabulous. Our communication director, and we'll get you linked up. So it, it's, very, it's about a six to eight minute. And we'll be showing it as we go about the community and visiting. And the raffle? Raffle is going to start in May. In May and June, we're going to do a operational fundraising uh, raffle for ourselves. We're going to give away 5,000 for first, two for second, 1,000 for third, only sell 1,000 tickets, $40 a ticket, three for 100, and we're going to celebrate it around the 4th of July at our Main Street uh, thrift store. Perfect, and we can get that on the website. Yes. Perfect, right. thank you so much, it's so good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Osprey Village, check them out. We are, um, that's all the time we have okay, we'll for be today back again. on Talk of the Town. Thanks so much for watching Talk of the Town. I'm Carrie Dillon, and we'll see you next time.